Hey, this is Jeff with Jailbreak Movies. Just want to give a quick roundup of the iPad 2. Um, I was able to acquire an iPad 2, uh, what was it, about a week ago? Maybe maybe about a week ago. I can't really remember. Everything's been a whirlwind. But let me just say, the iPad 2 is a great, it's a great device. Um, it is worth upgrading. Um, the iPad 2, this is how it should have been in the first place. You know, I know a lot of people say that. You know, that's a popular thing to say, well, this is how it should have been when it first came out. But this is really true when it comes to the iPad 2. I mean, cameras are a no-brainer by now, you know. I mean, it's just something that should come standard on any, pretty much any device um, that relies on communication that you can use to communicate with others. Because, I mean, it's an integral part of uh, communicating, cameras. And it really makes the iPad, it, it just changes the nature of the device. I mean, it changes what you can actually do with it. Having a camera, you know, even though, you know, we've heard the debate, these aren't quality cameras, these are horrible cameras, and that may be true, but shooting video still looks pretty decent with the iPad's camera. Uh, even if still, with the lower quality cameras, it still changes the nature of the device. You can you know, FaceTime, you can, eventually you'll have Skype, a native Skype app. It just really opens it up. Things like Photo Booth, Stuff like that makes the iPad really, um, I don't know, just something about it. It should have been there to begin with, you know what I mean? Um, the iPad 1, it's a still a, a good device. Um, if you're someone who absolutely just has no need whatsoever for a camera, the iPad 1 is still a, a relatively uh, good buy right now, especially with the price drops that have been happening. Um, I don't see why you wouldn't go ahead and get one. Now, that being said, I certainly would not want an iPad 1 after I've used this bad boy. Why is that? Well, number one, it's got the cameras, as I mentioned. It's a lot thinner. I mean, that thinness really does make a big difference. Holding an old iPad 1, um, it's just really bulky feeling. Even though it's not even that big of a device in itself, it just feels a lot more bulkier. And really, the um, tapered edges, kind of like the uh, iPod Touch, really make this device easier to hold. It makes it more ergonomically correct, if if you will. I'm not sure if that's even, you know, if it's truly ergonomic, but it just feels better in the hand. Um, as far as speed, now that's probably the biggest difference that I noticed between the iPad and the iPad 2. I mean, it's just, this thing just flies. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It flies. It has that dual core A5 processor has a 512 megabytes of RAM and really I haven't seen anything that can you know even begin to slow it down I mean I've multitasked like crazy I run the craziest apps um, and it's just it screams let me tell you so the iPad 2 is it's certainly worth it um, things like the smart covers and accessories uh, I could live without that smart covers are really not that smart in my opinion just because of this right here on the back see that gets all scratched up when you use smart covers and you don't have any protection here on the back. That's just me. I'm finicky about that sort of thing, but maybe you don't care about what the back of your device looks like. Another thing, the sound. The sound is probably the worst feature on the iPad. It's terrible. Now, say you're watching a movie in bed and you're holding the device like this. The sound, by the nature of the speaker, the sound projects backwards. So it's not really coming towards you. It, the sound is projecting, you know, away from you. Now, what I like to do is I like to cut my hand like this and it kind of, you know, pushes the sound back towards me, but I shouldn't have to do that. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous, um, you know, designed by Apple. It seemed like they would have been able to come up with a better design speaker system or something like that. So if there's anything that really disappoints me about the iPad 2, it's the, the horrible speaker. Um, You'll see it for yourself if you try it. Uh, it just it leaves a lot to be desired uh, for this device. I think if there's one thing they could have improved um, more so than they did, it's definitely the speaker. Other than that, everything else, I love it. Uh, the screen, of course, you don't have any retina display or anything like that, but the display is still quite adequate, especially for playing games, watching movies, things of that nature. Um, the software that comes with it, of course, Photo Booth is a new software feature, FaceTime. And that all works just just fine. Um, so I'm not going to go into all the specifics and venture into all the you know the specifications and this and that of the iPad. Uh, this is just a high level overview. No doubt you've read many a blog, you've watched many a video already. 
and you've already decided whether or not you're going to buy iPad 2. This is just my two cents. Um, would I recommend the iPad 2? Yes, I would. Would I recommend you upgrade? Yes. This is Jeff with JailbreakMovies.com.